What's up, Wagwan? I'm here, Medea, back with another video. This is King Shane here. And right now I'm gonna show you guys how to make banana flitters. So if you have some banana in your house and they go and spoil, don't just throw them out. You can make some banana fritters with them. This is one of the most delicious breakfasts in Jamaica. Guys, you guys are gonna love it. I want you guys to try it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. So this video was requested by one of my supporters asking me how to do it. So I said I will definitely do a video about it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So first you need some bananas, obviously. You need some bananas, got some banana fritters. You're gonna need some flour. And then you're gonna need some vanilla and some sugar. So the vanilla give it a little taste, that little good taste to it, you know what I'm saying? Well, you don't have to use vanilla, some people don't use it, but I recommend you use it to give it that you know, touch up taste to it. And um, we got the sugar, so first thing you wanna do, you wanna peel your bananas. First thing you wanna do is peel, peel your bananas. So I'm making, for me and my wife, she love it, my wife mom love it as well. I put them on to it and they love it. So um, I know you guys gonna love it as well if you should try it. Definitely spread the news. Try it, give it a try. All right guys, here we go, right? So first you wanna just peel the banana, put them in. And you start by battering the banana, like crush it out. So guys, this, this is fried food, right? Usually, I don't eat fried food in the morning, but um, I do this like once a, um, once a month or every other month. It requires a lot of oil, and fried food is not really good for the body, especially in the morning time when you just pick up. So um, I kind of limit myself from consuming fried food a lot, but this right here is definitely fried food. But I recommend you using um, coconut oil if you have it. That's better because the canola oil and the vegetable oil is not good for the body. They're not telling you that, but it's really not good. So I recommend you use coconut oil. So guys, you want to batter it real good so that um, there's no lumps. I recommend you use a fork so that way you can squeeze it. Look, I'm gonna show you guys. You go like this, squeeze it. They go around and squeeze it. See? It's like mixing cake. This is the important part, right? The flour. The thing is that you don't wanna put too much flour and you don't wanna put too less flour, right? Because if you put too much flour, it's gonna be too thick and it's gonna kinda of kill a banana taste to it. If you put too less flour, it's gonna be really, really soft and sloppy. It's not gonna be able to turn right when you fry it. And then you're, gonna, you're just gonna just feel just tasting banana, banana. So you don't wanna really do that. You wanna like make it in between, like not too much flour and not too little bit, all right? So for this amount of banana that I have, I usually put, um, you see in Jamaica, we don't really measure or two cup we just throw onto the ancestor tell it to stop throwing. <laughs> you know, so you just throw a good amount. Alright, like that. I'm gonna show you guys what I have. So like that. That's the amount of flow I have in mine. And then you just butter it, butter it together. So this is very important guys. You don't wanna make it too less flour. Because then you're gonna wanna white so soft and I can't turn it, then it's not it's not appealing to cook, you know what I'm saying? It was my favorite breakfast when I was growing up in Jamaica. This was egg? Come on, you give me that every day, I'm in love. You know, but then I, then I become a man, I cut down on fried food because fried food is not healthy for you. And since I'm working out and everything, I always try to balance um, each time I eat fried food. I always try to make some smoothie because I drink smoothie every morning. So I'm going I'm to show you guys as well my morning smoothie for this morning. Today is um, Thursday. So I'm gonna show you the smoothie I drink on, on Thursday because I have different days, different smoothies for different reasons. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you guys. All right, guys, so this is it. It's battered and everything. So now 
I'm going to add um the vanilla. I'm gonna add some vanilla to it. Just add a good, good amount of proportion. Right like that. A little bit more. Like that. Remember, you're making banana flavors. Some people just put like two spoon of two spoon of sugar, one spoon of sugar. Put any more that suit you. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't like sweet that much. And you can you can even fry it without sugar. If you want to taste the banana, just do it without sugar. You know. But you don't have to add much sugar. But this is what gives it like a sweet taste. So I'm adding up. One, one spoon of sugar. One spoon of sugar for that. And you can also, before you even fry it, you can um, taste it. It's okay to taste the flour. Look, you look like this. You don't want to put your hand in there because that's what people are going to eat. So you get a drip in your hand. Tastes good. You don't need to add no more sugar. You can taste it right then and there. That's perfect. And also you can add a little a little sprinkle of salt, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. I got so now I'm done mixing my banana flitters. So now all I have to do is let me show you guys. Now I'm done mixing my banana flitters. Only thing left for me to do is fry it. Alright? Alright guys, the first thing first, right, when you're about to fry your banana fritters is to make sure your, your oil is hot. Because if you put it in the pot and the oil is not hot, it's going to be stuck to the pot. Okay? So first thing first, make sure the oil is hot. So my, my oil is hot right now. And um, I got my big spoon right here. And I'm going to um, fry them. You go one by one. And guys, next thing is that you don't want to have the stove way too high. That like you just burn it with a cooker inside. You want to kind of like have it on medium, not too small, but medium, and let it cook. And then when it's getting too brown, you you, you flip it. All right, guys. So the banana fritters is done, and now I'm about to make some egg. So guys, I don't I don't eat the egg yolk. I just eat the egg white only. The egg yolk is not good for you, so I recommend you don't eat it. If you're gonna eat egg, just eat the egg white. And I'm gonna turn the stove up. I got so long in egg white. So you don't want the yolk. So just make a hole in the top and just block the yolk from coming out. So here we go guys, egg white, only the egg white. Alright guys, for a quick bonus, I'm going to show you guys my morning smoothie yeah. for Thursday, right? So, um, quick, I have pineapple, I got two mangoes, I got two apple, I got two banana, and I have some spinach, and I have some melon. Right, I got my cup. Big up Jamaican building for the Jamaican right here. All right, so guys, let me show you real quick. This is how you peel. This is how you peel pineapple. You want to hold the root first. 
It's gonna be a little messy, but this is all I do. should be a lifetime being fit should be a lifetime I know remember you want to get an older your bones getting older you want to try your best to be the healthiest you can be make sure you work out if you're not fit enough to run make sure you power walk every day until you are able to pick up the pace and do some running it's good to have at least 30 minutes or 15 minutes running in every day it's very very good it's beneficial for your health it gives long life you know so don't short yourself out on life make sure you eat right and exercise a lot and always be positive i always tell my clients always be positive it's easy to think negative the negative force is so strong but always be negative force with positive energy No, I had the banana. Yeah. The spoon and you scrape up the middle. Alright guys, so um I'm gonna blend my smoothie up. And this is the apples. I got apple, melon, banana, and spinach, and pineapple. So this is the fun part okay. guys. So now, what I usually do, I usually add some almond milk. A little bit of almond milk. Almond milk, guys. And then you blend it up. Alright guys, I want to make sure you add some ice. You guys see my video where I prepare my breakfast which is banana flitters and egg white and I made my smoothie this is the best smoothie ever guys look at it it's so rich mm. I wish I could share the smoothie with you guys but you guys are not here so now let me enjoy my breakfast thank you guys for watching this video thank you guys for the support King Shane is out make sure you guys drink a lot of smoothie make sure to exercise make sure to eat right and don't eat a lot of fried food I do this like every other month or so I don't do this often but I do this video for you guys so you guys could see and like I said I always think positive negative energy is very strong sometimes overpower the positive thinking positive thought so I always think positive and know that there's better days coming and just have faith. Love you guys. Thank you guys for the support. King Shane is up.